Hello, I'm Mike, Technical Product Specialist for Walker Emissions Control. And I'm Audrey, Product Manager for Walker Emissions Control. Audrey, let's talk about what happens when a vehicle comes into your shop with an illuminated check engine light. Yeah, Mike, to diagnose the issue, you scan the engine for diagnostic trouble codes, and the result is a PO420 code. Audrey, this is a common emissions code that is seen in the field. This code indicates that the catalytic converter isn't functioning efficiently. To work at peak efficiency, the emissions or feed gases entering the catalytic converter need to be perfectly balanced. In addition, the emissions entering the converter shouldn't be excessively elevated. To resolve the code, we'll review the steps you should take. The first step is to resolve any other codes that may come up in addition to the PO420. Especially troublesome is a PO300 series of cylinder misfire codes. A PO300 could be related to something in the ignition, the fuel injector, compression, or fuel contamination. Next, check the manifold for cracks that could cause issues with the converter. Any leaks in the exhaust system can cause an issue with the balance of the feed gases going into the converter. This is often the main cause of the converter efficiency issue. Yeah, Mike, this is also a good time to check the intake system for vacuum leaks. Vacuum leaks can produce excessive emissions and also cause cylinder imbalance issues. If one cylinder is running lean and the other cylinders are running rich, this is an indication that the engine has an imbalance in power output. This imbalance can create excessive emissions by raising both hydrocarbon and nitrous oxide output simultaneously. Most advanced diagnostic scan tools are capable of running a cylinder imbalance test. Another way to check for cylinder imbalance is to scope the ignition pattern. In general, cylinders with short burn lines indicate lean cylinders, while long burn lines indicate rich cylinders. Another cause of elevated emissions is simply worn or foul spark plugs. In order to meet stringent emissions durability requirements of 80,000 more miles, many modern vehicles come equipped with long-lasting iridium spark plugs. These long-lasting iridium spark plugs sometimes get replaced with spark plugs made of other materials, which may not provide the same length of service life. As a spark plug starts to fail, emissions can start to become elevated, sometimes as early as 20,000 or 30,000 miles after replacement. So we've talked about the different steps you can take to improve converter efficiency. Now, let's talk about how to test the performance of the converter. You can tell what's going on inside the converter by monitoring the operation of the rear oxygen sensor, which in turn monitors the performance of the converter. Audrey, let's start by graphing the rear oxygen sensor output, monitoring it under different driving conditions. Anytime the voltage is steady and at 450 millivolts or higher, this indicates good converter performance. If under any driving conditions, it can obtain a steady 450 millivolts or higher, replacing the converter is most likely not going to resolve the issue. The cause of the issue is most likely related to elevated emissions or imbalanced feed gases, as discussed earlier. The rear oxygen sensor will drop below 450 millivolts when the feed gases entering the converter aren't perfectly balanced. If all the diagnostics are still pointing to an issue with the catalytic converter, the rear O2 rarely maintains a steady 450 millivolts or higher. The next step is to perform an oxygen storage capacity test to determine the condition of the converter. Before running the test, fully warm up the converter. Follow the previously discussed step to obtain rear oxygen sensor reading of 450 millivolts or above and steady at idle. Once these conditions are met, you can run the test. Start by depleting the converter of all its oxygen by forcing the mixture to run rich and then taking away the rich condition and make it go lean. Compare the front and rear oxygen sensors to determine how long it takes to see the lean condition in the front and then how long it takes the rear oxygen sensor to see the lean condition. A two second or more delay typically indicates the converter is operating properly and you should continue running diagnostics to understand the root cause of the converter efficiency issue. One of the easiest ways to determine what is going on inside of the converter and the emissions output of the engine is with a recently calibrated five gas analyzer. An analyzer will allow you to see all five emissions to quickly determine the gas balance and the cause of elevated emissions. As an example, if hydrocarbons are elevated but the air-fuel mixture is balanced, this usually indicates worn spark plugs or low compression. If both nitrous oxide and hydrocarbon emissions are elevated, this indicates cylinder imbalance issue. Lastly, if both oxygen and hydrocarbon emissions are elevated, it indicates cylinder misfires. If all emissions are balanced and low and the converter efficiency is still an issue, it typically indicates that the converter is damaged and in need of replacement. Remember, converters don't fail on their own. It's important to resolve the root cause before replacing the converter. For more information on Walker catalytic converters, visit walkerexhaust.com 
and be sure to like and subscribe to our Walker Emissions YouTube channel for our latest tech tips.